everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing an off-road comparison with the all-new Silverado ZR2 versus the Ram TRX and the Ford Raptor. Now, this is going to be a crawling comparison. Our first obstacle, as you guys can see, is this extremely, like, it doesn't look like much on camera, but this is an extremely steep hill, which is going to really, like, seriously test the traction of all three trucks that you guys can see. Well, down there. Uh, so with that being said, a huge shout out and thank you to Jack, the owner of the ZR2 for making this video possible. I'm going to include his contact info in the description down below. If you're shopping for a car in St. George, he works for the Stephen Wade group. So reach out to him. Let's get right into the video. So we are setting off here with the Raptor first. I'm using the trail control. I'm in the rock crawl mode, four wheel low, axle, locked in the back we're starting with the raptor because this is the king of crawling and the one thing to mention that the uh, zr2 has over the raptor and the trx is the fact that it has front and rear lockers and so you know it'll be interesting to see now i'm at three miles an hour and this is pretty might be going a little bit too fast, so I'm gonna pop it to two point. I know it's not super fast, but it, it's weird. So this is one pedal driving, it's doing everything for me. Makes me look way better than I am. Yeah, this is actually impressive. I have never done any sort of uh, crawling with my Raptor. I just do high speed off-roading. And so this is, a new experience for me. Look at that, we're getting those exterior shots out there. So I'm gonna slow it down here a little bit. So we've got Jack here in the passenger seat. Not Zach, <laughs> made that mistake. My brain is just done. Um, so with this here, how, are you, how, did you, how did you angle here? So I made sure the center of my car gets over the shelf there. So you're gonna want your right tire kind of up there on the right. Okay. You're gonna wanna take it slow because it's gonna need a lot of grip here. So I've got it set to one mile an hour. Do you think I'm angled here pretty good? You're looking pretty good to me. Okay. It's nice that you have the camera to see over the hood. Parking sensors are freaking out a little bit. And then as it crawls up, you're gonna wanna go left. A little bit. So is that good right there? Perfect. You guys probably can't see much from the point of view, so that's why I'm pointing at the camera so you can see the terrain we're going through. And then for most of this, you kinda wanna stay a little right. Okay. I'm not doing, by the way, this is all Raptor. I am not touching anything here with the truck. It's just figuring it out. Isn't this funny that <laughs> off-road vehicles now, do we go all the way up here? Yep. Yeah, off-road vehicles now will literally just do everything for you. So, right again? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. There you go. How does this feel compared to your ZR2? And, and with this crawling situation? I like that crawl control that it has. Um, because as a driver, it can be a little bit stressful coming up here. And 
controlling it yourself, but this actually feels really nice. That's good to hear that the Raptor can still handle. I feel like the ZR2 though, because it's narrower, would have a little bit better maneuverability on this. Mm -hmm. EcoBoost is torquey enough. The one I'm actually most concerned about is the TRX. You have to use the trail cruise on that. Too. Oh yeah, 100%. And then this is pretty easy from here on. Yeah, look at this. So we're gonna pop it up to uh, two miles an hour. We're going up this ridge here. Okay. Seems like it's kind of struggling to grip a little bit. Maybe it's because I'm going too fast. Okay, pop it back up to two miles an hour. I know this is probably not exciting <laughs> for you guys, but it's impressive what this is doing. Not, we're not really getting any slip. It's fun for us. And how many degrees did you say the hill was? You, I got it up to about probably 26. 26 degrees. Yeah. On the heads up display of the Z2, it should show you. Yeah, I'll see if we can find the, oh, there we go. See like right here, it's like nine, eight, nine degrees, which is nothing, but yeah. So we'll, when we go down, we'll, put that back on but yeah I mean the Raptor just didn't even try from a ground clearance perspective from a grip perspective uh, just did a very very good job crawling up all of that so I'm impressed now we're actually going to uh, turn this off okay there we go one pedal drive turned off we're doing a 50 point turn basically we're heading down now i'm not going to do the one pedal drive going down i am just going to have it in manual mode and i'm just going to uh basically figure this out myself And after going up this whole thing, <laughs> um, all I have to say is the uh, video is going to be a lot longer than I expected it to be. I might have to turn this two-part series into a three-part series, potentially. But good thing we got Jack in here to guide us because this trail... Okay. Oh, Jenks, you don't have your seatbelt on. You're fine. I thought I was going to pop out. This trail is uh, pretty gnarly, so I'll have the degrees up here so you guys can see what's actually happening. As it gets to these steeper sections. Going down might look cooler than going up, actually, from the point of view perspective. So is this the shelf that... Yeah, this is one of them. You'll stay a little bit more to the left. Okay. And then as you come over, go to the right. Jenks, you want to pop out and spot just in case? Yep. Look at that, guys. We're having, we're having fun as it happens. Okay. Oh, just go straight through it. Yeah. Wow. And this is the most ground clearance, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like 13 <laughs> inches. Thirteen point one inches. Ooh, that's a big drop. Again, you guys are gonna remember, this is not the one pedal drive, this is the Ben Hardy pedal drive. Okay, 
Okay, so more to the I left. The left again. And I watch him. Okay, go straight. Wow. This is way freakier coming down than going up. I probably look like such a, or probably sound like such a sissy. I mean, this is only, this right here says, oh, there we go. We hit the sidestep a little bit. I tried to hit adaptive cruise control. Come on, come on, get out of here. Okay. Okay, now I gotta get over to the other side a little bit. There you go. Whew, stuff's falling on the truck. I'm worried about the T-Rex now. <laughs> We've got a little bit less ground clearance than the T-Rex. We're just gonna kind of muscle the way down the trail. But yeah, Raptor is impressive. That trail is, I, I know I'm gonna in the comment section down below that people could do that trail in their Toyota Camry. Uh, you can't. That was like a, that was like a Bronco trail, rank, Jeep Wrangler trail in my opinion in terms of the crawling on that. Obviously you can fit a full size truck, but let's go from this to the TRX. So now we are in the TRX and we're doing the same thing. So we're doing crawl control with the truck, which why is it not letting me? Oh, I forgot. So this is the TRX's crawl control. To, to increase the speed, you have to use the shifter, like the manual shift function. forgot about how weird this system was. The Raptor used the cruise control to adjust the speed. This used the shifter, such a weird system. But yeah, we're in four wheel low, rock crawl mode. So it sets the transmission and steering to rock. So the steering's super light. And I'd like to have a front camera. And the Ford system uh, with the camera was a little bit more user friendly because it's a little bigger. but tons of torque from that Hellcat engine, so it's crawling up just fine. Definitely hear a lot happening with the brakes, more so than the Raptor. So we're gonna slow down a little bit to two and a half miles an hour. I love how it does 0.1 with this. It does 3.1 miles an hour. The Raptor is like 0.5, one mile, 1.5. This is only goes up by 0.6 or down by 0.6. So we're gonna slow down to 1.8, then 1.2, 0.6. Okay, maybe we don't need to, maybe 1.2 is fine. Such a random number. Okay, so to the side here again. Yep. Jack is our professional inside truck spotter here. Ah, oh, that's interesting. So the Raptor just went straight over it and the TRX struggling a little bit. But to be fair, I've got 13,000 miles on these tires. The Raptor is on tires that have like 4,000 miles roughly. Still, interesting. Okay, we're gonna 
go up in speed a little bit to 1.8, a whopping 1.8 miles an hour. 2.5 now. Popping up here. There's so much uh, tech that I'm having to like look at here on the T-Rex that... It's like, uh, I feel like I'm piloting a spaceship. And then here off to the... Stay to the right. Stay to the right again. But make sure you go center over that. Easy peasy. Stuck again. So the crawl control's trying to figure it out. It's interesting. So, yeah, it seems like the uh, Raptor just did a much better job. Like the Raptor didn't even have to try. going up this, whereas the T-Rex, again, it seems like the front end is fine, but the back end, it just doesn't want to hook. Pop it up to 3.1. Going lightning speed now. 3.7! I'm getting impatient. I just want the trail to be over. <laughs> I'm impressed though with the uh, T-Rex so far, other than the fact that it slips a little bit. That's what happens when you pop over a big old rocket, 3.7 miles an hour. But yeah, that's that was good. So we're gonna do our descent and then clench our butt cheeks for the ZR2 because it's not my truck. Okay, so going down, we are not going to do the uh, quote-unquote off-road cruise control. We're going to do the Ben Hardy cruise control. So I'm going to be driving now instead of doing a one-pedal drive. But man, that one-pedal drive does make you feel like a pro, and it's cool that a lot of off-road vehicles have that system now. Uh, I'm not going a whole lot quicker than when I was doing the one-pedal drive, though. Looks like we lost our camera exterior cameraman to the heat. May he rest in peace. Oh, I turned off the uh, camera mirror, it looks like. Now we can see behind us better. So this is the uh, shelf that the Raptor had no problem with. The other shelf, though, scraped the sidestep a little bit. So we're going to go here to the left side. Okay. Scrape the side step a little bit. But better the side step than the uh body of the truck, right? So now that means that this one, we're going to scrape both side steps. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we're a little bit too fast. There's another side step scrape. Okay. 
Now we're gonna kind of slow down here because this one I think could definitely pop something off with the T-Rex. Okay, I cannot see, there we go. So left side, oh he's telling me to go right. Okay. Okay. Ah, might have been user error the first time scraping with the Raptor there. So there we go, all the way down. So. A little bit of driver air going down with the T-Rex for sure and then also potentially with the Raptor, just how I angled it, right, to scrape the side steps. Um, but this does have less ground clearance than the Raptor. Again, 13.1 inches with the Raptor, 11.8 here with the T-Rex. Um, but yeah, you guys saw with that run, oh man, revved up too high. Anyways, you guys saw with that run there with the uh, T-Rex. Uh, did a really good job from a crawling perspective. Did slip out a little bit more than the Raptor though. So that is definitely a thing, but tons of torque out of that Hellcat engine, which definitely made for an interesting crawl. Oh, we are setting off here in the ZR2 and uh, we don't have fancy off-road cruise control like the other two, so. This is going to be um, Ben Hardy cruise control the whole way. And I just realized I forgot to lock the rear end of the T-Rex, so that's why the rear end was slipping. So I guess that the point I'm trying to make is the T-Rex probably would have climbed up as good as the Raptor if I'd locked the rear end. But you saw even without the rear end locked, it did a great job. Now this has the front and rear locked. And so it should be a different story in terms of uh, climbing up. Now the first thing I'm noticing here is uh Obviously I'm having to uh, do the work myself. I'm going a little bit quicker, I guess, but kind of slowing down here. Um, grip is great. Grip is really good. Camera system's amazing too. Yeah, it just, this, this truck definitely makes you feel more like a, uh, definitely feels, makes you feel like a pro. We're coming up to the first obstacle, so we're gonna go to the, to the right. right here. You can as far over as you can. And then yeah, if you just follow those guidelines. Should be good. Okay. Working it out a little bit. Oh, we're just spinning out. So I'm gonna pop into automatic and see if, it's probably driver air. Yeah, 
does not want to I assure you, Jack did this <laughs> himself. So we're gonna try to just get a little bit more speed up this. Wow. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> to kind of muscle up a little bit. Did you have to do that the first time? No. It wow. popped right over that the first time. Wow. Yeah, so just guide me. We're gonna have Jack guide me through here just so that we don't damage his beautiful new truck. <laughs> yeah, you're doing okay so far. Try and stick to the left a little bit on this. Okay. There you go. Maybe the T-Rex and the Raptor weren't down too much. So right or left on this one? Um, I'll stay to the right a little bit, but make sure your left tire gets up over there. So right here? Yeah. Okay. So we do have to, so here's what I'm noticing with the ZR2. I definitely, uh, without that, you know, off-road cruise control, I definitely have to kind of muscle up a little bit more so far. something to mention is this is the third run of the day so maybe the big tires from the t-rex and the raptor wore down that rock a little bit right but yeah other than that little um i don't know what to call that just that little thing right there we're gonna go slow over this i plowed through with my truck but we're not gonna do that here with jacks <laughs> go slower um yeah did a really good job so I'm impressed with the uphill crawling. Now the down, the descent is the stressful part. So we'll see kind of how it handles everything, but there we go, up to the top. Now we are on the descent here with the ZR2. So maximum butt cheek clenchage is what we'll say. Cause again, this is where, uh, it, this, this particular hill, it's, it's easier to go up than it is to go down. Even though we had a little bit of slipping just because of, um, breakover angles. That's why we hit the side steps on the Raptor and on the T-Rex. This doesn't have side steps, so we should be better from a breakover angle perspective. But still gonna take it slow and I will say though, I'm seriously impressed with all three of these trucks being able to handle 
Like I look at this and I think, okay, Razor. I don't think full-size pickup truck that you can daily drive, take your family in and tow with it too. Okay. So here's the first obstacle. So is this one more on the left side? I believe so. That might be the one pedal drive right there. Okay, so we're going down here. Easy, for the first one. And those high ground clearance exhaust tips, right? So we don't have to squish Chevy squished exhaust tips that are on the normal uh, trail boss. Okay, gonna wait for Jenks to catch up here, guys. So just bear with us. Yeah, so it, it's got like hill assist where it holds it. Okay. Stress intensifying. <laughs> okay, here's the last one. Gonna take this one extra slow. Okay, straight center. Okay. Okay, a little bit towards that side. Is this one really big or no? I can't. anymore on the I just did some left a little bit. Yep. Oh he's telling me to go right. Okay, left now. Oh slip down the rock. Solid. We did not touch a single thing on this here too. So uh, that's a win for me. I'm okay with scraping my side steps. A little bit nerve wracking. Can feel you can. What do they say? You can cut the tension in the ZR2 with a knife. That was impressive. Other than that slipping at the beginning, climbing up. I feel like coming down, it did an equally good job as the uh, Raptor and as the 
T-Rex. But I guess that'll get us into summing things up with this uh, crawling comparison. Yeah, that's gonna sum things up for our crawling video with all three of these trucks. Now, I am going to make a separate, like, standalone video where I'm going to give all of my off-road impressions. Obviously, there's gonna be a part two, which is gonna be the high-speed off-roading, but there's also gonna be, like, a part three. It's not gonna be called part three, but I'm basically just gonna, you know, sit in my house and talk about all three trucks and kind of, like, what I thought after this whole experience, and, I, you know, I'll have to uh, sit with it for a while. But anyways, again, a huge shout out and thank you to Jack for giving me some time with his ZR2, trusting me to drive his truck up a crazy trail. I'll see all of you guys in the next video.